After I write my name on the back, I will flip my paper to the front and begin my symmetrical watercolor mittens by tracing the left mitten first. And I know it's the left because it has an L on it. I'm going to hold it, slowly trace around it. And to make my right mitten, I'm going to flip it to the R side, leave a little bit of space in between, and trace it again. So now I have a left and a right. To make them symmetrical, it means I want to design them the same on both sides. So if I'm looking at this one, I made a cat on the left, so I made a cat on the right. Zigzag on the left, zigzag on the right. So to start, you're going to want to pick out three different types of lines. So maybe I start with a wavy line. So I'm going to go wavy on the left. If I do wavy on the left, I need to do wavy on the what? On the right. Okay, and then leave some space and pick a different line. So I could do loopy. Loop, loop, loop. Same on the right mitten. And one more line, so maybe I'll do zigzag up and down. Okay, next, once I've got my lines drawn in on both, I'm going to draw shapes or pictures that I can color in. So I could do a pattern or I can just repeat the same shape. So maybe on the top I will do a pattern. I'll do circle, oval, circle, oval. So on the right again, I need to do the same thing. But I could do a reflection if I want. So instead of starting with circle, I could start with oval, which is facing the inside. So oval, circle, oval. After I have my patterns drawn in, I'm going to draw a wavy line from the bottom of my left mitten to the bottom of my right mitten. And I'm going to then follow it with a second line. And this can be the string that will hold our mittens together. When I'm done with pencil, I'm going to take construction paper crayons and trace all of my designs. But I'm not going to color them in because I will be painting them after my crayon. And I want to use symmetrical colors when I trace. So if I trace my right mitten with purple, I need to trace my left mitten with purple.
Okay, when I am done tracing with my construction paper crayons, we're gonna stop there and next week we will be using watercolor paints to paint them in and make some snowflakes. Let's begin.